ladies and gentlemen, this guy is wonderful. He's a local boy right from Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mac Livingston! Woo! Someone's having a Cosmo over here. If you keep it down low, it is a comedy show. How are we doing? Good? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm originally from Lawrence, Mass. Yeah, I joined my first gang when I was eight. It's called White Boys. There's only two of us in it. And my sister quit. <laughs> the driver's ed in Lawrence. It's my first time driving a lowrider. Do a three-point turn and load a banana clip at the same time. <laughs> Pretty good. Went to the Bruce School of Arts. Yeah. So when he came in my class, the last thing didn't end in the letter Z. <laughs> Perez Lopez Vasquez Livingston, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is this is great. It's a good show. I'm in think. I don't know how men think, because I'm always saying, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is funny. My, everybody here on a Match.com date? And because I know everyone meets on the internet. Everybody here? Match.com? Who? I know there's somebody. No one's gonna raise their hands because it's way embarrassing. <laughs> My buddy's on Match.com, and I can't figure out why he can't get laid. So I went and I decided to look at his profile picture. He's wearing a t-shirt that says, I love camel toe and wearing Crocs. <laughs> that might be the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, growing up in Lawrence, I had a, um, I, my brother, I have an older brother who's, who's deaf. Uh, and it sucked growing up with him because, you know, he always got all the attention. And, uh, you know, it was just tough because every time we watched TV, we were forced to watch TV with closed caption, right? You're forced to read everything on the TV. To try watching the, the Godfather for, for three hours, reading everything. You're like, holy shit! I didn't know until you spelled that. <laughs> then you watch like a sex movie with them, right? Late at night, or watch a sex movie. It's in closed caption. It says, woman moans, man groans, woman says wrong hole. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, no. I was like, I know, I can fucking hear it. All right, <laughs> <Hey>, relax. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I'm telling you. I have a very wealthy grandmother too who suffers awful from Alzheimer's. So I go over a house every day and I borrow a hundred bucks. <laughs> Make an extra seven hundred a week. <clears throat> it's all pretty good. <clears throat> I went to Burger King the other day and I got a frap and I was like, holy shit, you see the size of the straws on these fraps? I'm like, imagine if these were around in the 80s, they'd be a line just for the straws. <laughs> That's a cocaine joke, so I was like, I don't think I got it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. And, and then, you know, I drive to, you know, we live in Lawrence here, right? So, you know, you go through New Hampshire, right? Is everyone in this fucking state have a vanity plate? Are you kidding me? Really? You can tell the freight. Who he is from New Hampshire? And you have a vanity Yeah, I know somebody does, all right? And it's a stupid plate. Because I was buying a pickup truck the other day, right? The license plate said F-150. Oh, no, no shit, buddy. Go read the fucking tailgate right there. <laughs> Behind another car, license plate said Tim. So I'll pull him inside. He's like, hey, Tim. He's like, how do you know my name? It's on your plate, you dumb bitch. <laughs> so another license plate said, hot mom. I go all excited. I pull him inside. I'm like, oh shit, I am a New Hampshire Anna. that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so I'm married with three kids. Never catch me wearing a Life That's Good t-shirt, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Sometimes on a Sunday, I'll take a ride with the family and I'll come to a red light and I'm like, oh, I just want to get on a run for my life. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> I try to be the, uh, the, good, the good dad of my kids, you know, I try to be cool, you know, the cool dad, try to be badass. It's kids, right? Took them to Fenway over the summer, we went to a Sox game, right? We go to a Sox game, get real good seats, having a good time. By the time the sixth inning comes, everyone in the family's cocked anyways. All of a sudden they hear, fuck you, you suck, you blow, right? 
My daughter Teresa's like, Dad, this is just like being at home. <laughs> and it's top, you know, relationships. It's so freaking top. Because remember the beginning, you're all love. Uh, my God, I love you. I love you. You're all going to get all excited with each other. You come home with cards and candy and roses and everything. And you kind of get that. I love you so much. Right? I came home really from work because I want to be with you. Right? You go out to eat. You're like, we want to go. You know, I can't wait to go, man. I just want to be with you. I love you so much. Right? And all of a sudden, three kids and ten years later, you're trying to find a babysitter, which is a project to begin with. You're like, listen, I don't give a shit who watches the kids. Somebody else is trying to get them the fuck out of here. <laughs> you finally get a babysitter, right? She's finally done getting ready. And you're out, you drive around, you're like, where do you want to go? She's like, I don't know, where do you want to go? I don't care, where do you want to go? I don't know, where do you want to go? I don't care, where do you want to go? I don't know, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the 99? You know I hate the 99. <laughs> you get home four hours later, starving. $50 for the babysitter, 28 gas, just sleeping on the couch. I go into a text fight with her, I misspelled the word can't. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Just for the breakfast. <clears throat> it's not easy. Relationships are not easy. I bought my wife a board game for Christmas called Sorry. <clears throat> You know, I'm not doing anyone a shitty relationship though, right? Because I do tree roll for a living, okay? We had that windstorm, right? Hurricane Sandy came through, right? I'm knocking trees out on people's houses. I got a call, I got a tree right through the middle of the house, right? Right in with them. I go to the house, trees right through the middle. Lady comes out, look at this tree through my thinking hat. I've been telling him for years to cut this tree down. You think he listen to me? No! You don't listen to me. Now look at the tree going right through my thinking hat down, right? She turns around and walks in the house, the guy goes to me, hey! How much extra put her through the chip or two? It's like, buddy, I put that bitch through for free shit. Oh, man, it's tough. I spent $7,800 and bought my wife new boobs. She had the nerve to ask for sweaters for Christmas. It's like buying a Ferrari dryer with the cover on it. I don't know I'm driving. <laughs> Even though like a sex life is a little stacked, right? So I decided it was me. So I decided to shake shit up down here because it looked like a Don King in a headlock. <laughs> She's like, why are you glowing? Those things are shaking. Glowing. <laughs> bag of fruit coming at me. Relax. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not easy. Oh man. Yeah, I remember like before I had kids, like I was a badass, like I was cool, right? I had a Holly, I did the on the hill of a Holly way. What's that, right? Now in a minivan, my hand over my face, I got the stupid stick figure people in my back window with my names underneath them. I used to give my wife $400 to go to Victoria's Secret and buy lingerie. Now if I go to uh, give her $400, she goes to Target to buy a vacuum. <laughs> Sorry. People got these signs now. Sorry, the good food, good friends, good time. Love, life, live, you. All right? <laughs> my wife bought a sign for the bedroom that says, no head, no sex, no time. <laughs> It's, it's tough, I'm telling you. It really is tough. Uh, she's always like, size doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter, right? Then she goes to a sex toy party with her girlfriends. Comes home with something called a King Dong. All right, it's two things I'm not, black and huge. Okay. But my son found her on Halloween. He does completion to his Darth Vader costume. He's like, <laughs> It's like, Dad, it doesn't make the lightsaber. Like, Whoa. I was like, no, you have to stick it in some of them. We find out later on in life. <laughs> the only reason 
why we knew he had it too, because we got a call from Miss Booth. Miss Booth was a teacher at school. Apparently they had Halloween costume day at school. So every time we go off a parent-teacher conference, they're like, she's the one that likes the black cock right there, that's the one. And I'm walking behind her. I don't know why she hates me. <clears throat> I feel like I'm always like on the gold star program with her too, you know what I mean? Like if I, I always gotta tell her when I do shit around the house, like I feel like I have to let her know, like I'm, I, like I get a gold star, you know, at the end of the month I count them up. So like, hey honey, just so you know, I, you know, I fold the laundry and stuff tonight, I just, I just figured I'd let you know I did that, you know, and I raked the leaves earlier today, and, uh, yeah, just so you know, I figured. So at the end of the month, you know, like I, I go and I look, and count up my gold stars, I'm like, holy shit, I only have enough for half a hand job. <laughs> It's like, when's the last time you cleaned the bathroom? It's like, I don't know, probably the last time you blew me. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. It ain't easy, I'm telling you. Holy shit. It's a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Makes good coffee. I, uh... <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I got three kids. I got, my daughters uh, are all into America's Next Top Model. Like, you know, they think they're gonna be on the show someday. You know what I mean? They're all crazy into it, you know? Every time a camera comes out or something like that, my 15-year-old, she's always like posing, she's like, I'm like, look, cut the shit, all right? I had enough. I go, go to your room. And she goes, oh. <laughs> you know what's going, work that out, Miss J-Loves? I worked that out. Do you have a problem with this rubbing off on my son Cole trying to get ready for football? I'm like, buddy, we got practice. Go in your room, put your pads on. Let's go. He's like, all right. Goes to his room, puts his pads on. He comes out, he's like, fabulous. <laughs> I look down at his cleats are bedazzled. It says juicy on his ass. Go to the field, it goes with eye black and orange eyes, put it on his lashes. You can always tell everyone in the field it gets tackled because there's glitter everywhere. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's tough for the kids. It is. My daughter takes, we had a teacher meeting, right? My daughter takes healthy cooking in class, in school, right? She takes healthy cooking. I met the teacher, the healthy cooking teacher. This lady's 400 fucking pounds. I'm like, who teaches math here? The janitor? What's going on? <laughs> Stupid. My wife read that book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Holy shit. She goes to a sex toy shop like it's a market basket. <laughs> Every time I walk in, there's ropes and chains in front of my room. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> She's calling me Christian. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I welts on my back. <laughs> Looks like I was in fucking Vietnam. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it ain't easy. I'll, uh... Oh man, I wish I was kidding. I uh... <laughs> I'll leave you at this, right? I uh... My son, right, we watch football, a lot of football, right? Which, and every time, for some reason, guys, you guys know this, every time we watch our girls, guys, everyone knows this, when you watch football, there's always the Acker commercials on TV, right? Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction, right? For some reason, they always have this on a football game. So my son's like, Dad, do you have ED? <laughs> I'm like, no. He goes, that's how my mom was telling Auntie on the phone the other day. <laughs> hey, I'm Mac Livingston. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mac Livingston, ladies and gentlemen. Nice round of applause for Mac Livingston, everybody. Yeah. Make him answer the question. Make him answer the question. Mag Livingston. Here we go. Here's the question. Why won't that Vanessa raise your hands? Why won't that guy have sex with her until three years has passed? Because she's fucking 15. You have to wait till you're 18, sweetie. There you go. I don't know. I'm not gonna wait that long. All right. Mag Livingston, ladies and gentlemen. Large zone.